Okay, so let's um, summarize this now. Summary. FRI, FRR. Designed by by specifying an ideal frequency response. So then obviously first step is um, define our ideal frequency response. So that's ISA as an as an analytical function. So something like H two E J omega, which is then then ISA ISA one or zero. Or the other the other option is as a discrete as a discrete array of frequency coefficients. And so, and so once once we've done done this discrete discrete array or the analytical one, then um, so the as a second step we do the inverse inverse Fourier transform. So I saw the um, continuous. continuous frequency discrete time inverse transform or in B we are doing the the discrete inverse Fourier transform. Or just the inverse fast fast Fourier transform. So then three so we might to might need to mirror the um impulse response if not already as part of the result so once we have we have done this and then And then um, in case of, of B, reshuffle time and in, and in A, shift to positive time.
So then five optional so window the the impulse the impulse response then six read out read out coefficients and put them into an FIR filter. So just as a um, as a comment here, also in terms of previous lectures here, so the shifting to positive time. So might might be done by reshuffling or or shift and can be done at um, different different um, steps in the design process but we just need to be obviously careful because in a FR implementation only positive time steps can be can be done negative time steps are a causal and cannot be done but um, otherwise it's a very straightforward and simple process